Hello Losties, we just watched episode 13 and I'm wondering what lies in the shadow of the statue? Welcome to the official fan show for Lost on Sky One. Joined as always by this gentleman, it's Paul Terry, the editor of the official Lost magazine. Wagwan. Wagwan. And over here, <laughs> it's everyone's favourite geeky Tom. Now, Tom, I think I've been a little bit harsh to you this series, so I'm going to be really nice to you. How oh, are you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah, you well? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing really good, actually. It's really today. nice to see you, man. Thank Thanks. you very much for being yeah. here. Now, let's start talking about <laughs> Miles. We learned uh, a lot about Miles. Very exciting, yeah. I thought, to see a Miles. Miles episode. Yeah, and see yeah. him do his communicating with the dead powers, which is kind of freaky. But as a little boy, that was really freaky. It is kind of, it is freaky. The, yeah, the first time we see him was with, with his mum there renting a place and he can hear a dead man talking. So his power is, he sort of gets their last thoughts. Is that what it is? Or? I, th I think it seems to be, uh, if they've died, he keeps hearing them. So he keeps hearing like, almost like a loop or something, just keeps sort of having them communicate with him. But that's yeah. when he's a boy. I think as he gets older, Oh, we can control it more. Okay, yeah. I still, Tom, yeah. Would, you, would you agree with that? That when he gets older, we can control it a bit. Yeah, more? no, I'd agree with that, hundred percent. Yeah. And is it? Do you think, Tom, <laughs> just that it's what um, he hears the last things they were thinking, or can he actually have a communication with him? No, I think it's the uh, as he said to Hurley that it's just the last thoughts. I think it's the last thoughts anyway. So I definitely agree with you today. Ian. Thanks, for that, Tom. It's nice. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, freaking out. Marvin Candle, Doctor Chang, whatever he's called. I, we, I think we all knew it was going to be. His dad, didn't we? We all saw that one coming a mile off. I, when we saw the episode, I think that was one of the first things I said. I think yeah, he did, he did say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's good. Why do we think he's got the gift? Is it being born on the spooky island? Is it because um, he comes from Marvin Candle's seed and Marvin Candle spends all of his time by the wheel and by the, the magic bit that, of the island? Could that be? That. That's, that's nice. It's yeah, like if you nice. have a mobile phone in your pocket, it, it can stop you fathering children. If you hang out by a time traveling wheel, it can give your children special powers. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Dead chats to the text. Now, we were all shouting at the end, tell him! He'll understand because he, he's experimenting with time travel and he's aware that, that time travel is, is a possibility. Tell him! I know, it, why, why didn't he? Well, I don't understand the whole, you know, he doesn't want a relationship with his dad. Why did he just go up to him and go, hey, look, oh. it's me from the future. Woohoo! But is it because, even though he was saying to Hurley, you can't change anything, maybe he secretly He's terrified of changing something about the past. Let me take you back to the, the rabbit experiment. With Please him, do. Uh, yeah. When he says, don't let them touch, so they can coexist. Right. We've got an email from John that says, that says okay. a similar, asks a similar question. <laughs> How can Miles exist in 1977 in two separate forms? Brackets a baby and an adult, clear that up for us. Oh, yeah. In case you missed that. Surely this, breaks, surely this breaks all rules of time travel and existence. Well, no, it doesn't, does it? No. It's, um, it breaks yeah. some of them, but yeah. But well, no, again, like, like I, in Back to the Future. Yeah, he even watches himself first, you know. steal the DeLorean back from the terrorists yeah. and drive yeah. it away yeah. in, well, into, oh, the, right, uh, into sorry, the past. Oh, right, sorry, yeah. Can Hurley really talk to dead people? We don't know, do we? He thinks he is. I'm surprised that he when, he, when he piped up and said, oh, I can do it as well. It was a very funny line. He says, you're just jealous because my power is better than <laughs> yeah. yours. Yeah, but is it just in his head? Is he as just well? imagining them? Saying stuff to him. Well, that's the know. mystery, Paul. I think is that we need to decide whether it's in his head or it actually is. The, well, let's. Uh, what do you think then, Simon? <laughs> it could be the smoke. Yeah, like, we always see lots of, you know, the, the smoke monster creating dead people and then coming back to life. Maybe, maybe it's that. Hey, I'm, being, I'm being nice, Simon, but don't don't push it. <laughs> now, before Miles goes to the island, um, he gets kidnapped by Bram and yes. told not to go to the freighter. We've not met Bram before, have we? Wasn't, wasn't he with um, Ilana? Where? To when Ilana says in the episode, what lies in the shadow of the statue, oh. wasn't he with her? Yes, with, with the, the, the box that Tom is convinced is a nuclear, nuclear bomb. Nuclear weapon, yeah. Wasn't that, wasn't he, I think? Yeah, and she asked um, uh, Lapidus whether he knew what it was, and he did, and they got caught in the So I, think, I don't think it's a secret catch, well, I know it's a secret, Phrase, but I think there actually is something probably in the shadow. Yeah, but I'm sure there's a response the to that. It's a call and response, isn't it? You it's like the snowman thing, you know. Yeah. One snowman says the other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Bram says that Miles is on the wrong team. But now I, I'm so confused by which now, team is which. So Miles we, we, is, is going. He's, he's working, for, well, was hired to go work with Widmore and that, who's that silly woman who can't act, what's her name? Oh, Naomi. Naomi, yeah. that's the one. Yes. Dorit. Yeah, that's it. So, Marcia Thomason. Yeah, so they're that's all hired by, good. okay, that's your opinion. So they're all hired by Widmore, 
So who is, is, is Bram working for then? No, that's what threw me completely. When he said that, when he's like, you're on the wrong, you're working for the wrong team, you can't go to the freighter. I was like, well, wait a minute, because we, we, we were, were saying were the other working. week that Alana was working for the Whitmore team, which would make sense against Ben. So, and she said on the plane, who's Benjamin Linus? And I did a brilliant poker face, or we all believe that she didn't know who Benjamin Could Linus was. Could they be working so. for that strange butcher lady? <laughs> that, yeah. She was good. As a she kid. Was good. I liked that. I mean, that, that, would, that would mean that they were working for Ben, though. Yeah, and but they might not necessarily know who Ben is. I don't think they are working for Ben. Is there a third? There's not a third party. This is what I'm thinking. Oh. I think it's probably Dharma. Oh man, this makes everything all the more complicated. I can barely keep track of two. So you could have Alvar Hanzo or some kind of relation of him in charge of Dharma, and then you have Ben and Charles Widmore all fighting out for the islands. We've got an email from Dharma Chameleon, a uh, regular contributor, thank you for this. I think Bram and Ilana, oh here we go, here we go. No, we've, I've genuinely not read these emails before we start. I think that Bram and Ilana, uh, etc., work for the Dharma Initiative. The war that is coming is a repeat of the old Dharma Initiative versus the Hostiles War. The war will have Bram, Ilana, and the rest of their team standing off against the others. I think the Losties will get, well, let's, let's deal with that. Okay. So, so that, that kind of makes, I think that is sounding yeah. pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I said, but yeah. I, I promise I didn't read that beforehand. So. And that's that's absolutely true. He didn't. Uh, Dharma Chameleon com continues. I think the lo I think Dharma's a, a woman. I don't know why. I want to say she. I'm sorry if it's a gentleman. But she continues. <laughs> I think the Losties will get back to 2007 at the end of this season and that the war will take place during season five. Do you mean season six? We're in season five. Now you're confusing me. <laughs> the Losties will split and some will fight for the others and some with the Dharma initiative. Well, the Losties kind of have split. There are, there are splits and tensions anyway. It's all going a bit wrong, isn't it? Aren't yeah. there? The, yeah. the, the war, I don't know if we're going to get the war. I, think the, the, I don't think we're going to get the war in this season. What are we on, episode 13? There's only a few more to go. I think we're going to get the build-up. Yeah, the war, and that's... But, but that means Dharma versus the hostiles, as in Widmore's, the original people on the island. So how does Ben know because Ben was from <laughs> it just yeah. gets yeah. Yeah. Just so film Paul doing yeah. that all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, answering your own questions <laughs> in your head. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you for that, Dharma Comedian. If you want to send us an email uh, with your theories or if you just want to say hi to Tom, uh, the email address is lostonsky1 at sky.com. Lostonsky1 at sky.com. We're also on the MySpace, the Twitter, the Bebo, and the Facebook. <laughs> Exciting, seeing the hatch being built. That was quite good, wasn't it? I liked the the stampy bit. Yeah, the stampy yeah, thing. Going, <laughs> Forty-two. Yeah. Was it was good. Good. Yeah, but then why? Why would they put these the numbers? Why would they put them as a serial number on? Yes, the we hatch? all thought that the numbers. We've been led to believe that the number was a mathematical part of that silly mathematical sum. It's hard talking about the, the lost experience stuff, isn't it? Because it, it's, not, been, it's not been, the but it's equation. not ever been addressed on the programme. So and they, they do equation. just say it's a serial number. Yeah, but obviously there's been so many people referencing the numbers and... But he types the number the, in the computer as well. So yeah, and, yeah, and of course, and the guy um, who was going crazy in the mental institution was, was saying, was repeating it while playing Connect Four. So there's there's all these the numbers on that, the broadcast tower. That, yeah. Um, okay, let's go back a bit. The, the, the dead man that Miles has to pick up any significance in that gentleman? Uh, was it, I'm trying to work out whether it was someone just, we'd seen been killed this season. Was no, it? I think it was just a nod to the fact that there's a large kind of electromagnetic presence. Pulls of the filling through yeah, his brain. That they yeah. are trying to, I guess, harness. Oh, how exciting. The end of the episode. Dan. Faraday! Yeah. Faraday's Dan back! back. There, I think they said that some scientists were coming from Ann Arbor, which yeah. is a place in the United States of America. I know that because I think it's yeah. mentioned in a book somewhere. Yeah. Now, very excitingly, the next episode of Lost, you were saying as we were watching that one, is going to be? The 100th episode. The 100th episode. That's going to be cause for celebration. Fizzy Pop and crisps, everybody. Yeah. My treat. Oh, Although I'm not going to pay for them. But the episode <laughs> is called The Variable, which would indicate uh, a Faraday, yeah. Faraday special. With some, yeah, so a like, science-based, you know. It's going to be thing. good. Yeah. yeah. But also the constant variable and yep. it feels like yeah so I hope they were going to see what's happened to, to Faraday when he's been off the island well he seemed very happy to be back he wasn't sort of looking for turf. he's come back he with he's come back with a mission yeah you know, he knows something. what he needs to do yeah and I guess that leads into episode one where he's working um, building the orphans. oh nice yeah I think it is isn't yeah. It? Yeah. are we gonna recognize any of the other scientists do you think there's always that possibility that we might um, know who somebody else could come back yeah who, who else Seen the we'll see. We've got a forum post by Driveshaft Roadie. Driveshaft. Oh, do you remember them? So, 
Uh, they say, how badly is Faraday going to freak out when he sees Jack, Kate, Hurley and uh, possibly Saeed? I don't think he's going <laughs> to freak on out. On what scale, yeah. I think he's going to expect it. Well, he's very known, isn't he, on Faraday, so... Do you think Faraday's going to be thrown by that? He's sure he's going to. Depends if he's reading his little diary. It will be in the diary. Well, except that won't have happened for him yet, but it might have done. It's confusing. I think that Faraday will be aware that they're there and will just... Uh... I, no, I think, yeah, I think... I think this guy's right. I think it'll be a surprise for him. Okay, well, let's say. Uh, if he's been, been away, yeah, he'd have no reference. Yeah, yeah. You can send us an email to lost on sky one at sky.com. Now, back to the show. The Losties story is starting to unravel. What the hell was Kate doing, you stupid woman? What's she doing talking to him? Oh, it's going to be all right. We're from the future. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, but, but Jack as well. Oh, Jack, Jack makes was, it worse. He was too territorial. He was too, too you know, trying to, you know, He was intimidating Kate, a drunk man. Jack and Kate have ruined it for, for everyone, haven't they? They've they, they totally exposed who they are. Not yet. No, no. It's getting very close. Yeah. I, think, I think Kate, you know, seemed to genuinely be caring for Roger. Well, she wasn't like trying to, trying to mess it up. Well, no, but, but she's but, stupid though. No, no, I She was gen saying. genuinely doing it in a nice way. Well, of course she wasn't trying to mess it up. It's a stupid thing to say, Paul. No. But by being caring, she has muffed up the whole she thing. She has. What I was going to say was, she's clearly Hush not Hush your mouth. Good. Hush your mouth. Sawyer's um, balls up a little bit, haven't they? They've been on the video and that, that wee man coming in and saying we've got the, got the video. It's all unravelling for him. Yeah. We, you know, we, we, we started thinking that he may, you know, he'd be quite a good replacement for Jack, but you know what? I don't think he is, actually. He's kept his plate spinning for three years, though, hasn't he? True. It's, it's, it's all starting to... Only since Jack's got back, so... Uh, what, what are they going to do now? So they've got that fella uh, tied up. Um, that Phil, I think, isn't it? They've got Phil tied up. Are they going to try and make him take the blame? Are they going to? I don't know. I think Sawyer will think of some sneaky way of um, passing the blame somehow, or getting a way out of it by lying. Yes, he he's now got the tape, which is what he wanted. So that's yeah. good. So he can either he can either keep keep Phil hidden. He can blame it on Phil, blame it on Saeed, yeah, possibly, or just. Well, you know, Phil knows though, so he's going to have to. You know, he might have to kill him. He oh, Sawyer's so not going to kill him. I don't know. I've, he's done some nasty stuff in his time. Uh, he won't. Um, th th I think. Th the losses, are they going to have to do a runner? It's going to come out in the next episode, next episode or two, definitely. But where would they run to? I mean, 1977, you know, the hostiles are in the jungle and there's things being built. It feels like... They're going to hang out with Richard Alpert. They've got, they've got, well, they yeah. know enough to go and say, listen, we know this, this and this. We're in a bit of trouble. Yeah. Can we join your gang? Let's come yeah. and join your, your side. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe they do. Maybe that's something, yeah, maybe they, they, they kind of, you see them with the Dharma Initiative and then they're in the next season they go and hang out with the hostiles. That'd be cool. I've got an email from Alex. Kate is doing her best to be uncovered. We agree, Alex. She's completely muffed this up. Running around like some crazed woman making Roger Liner suspicious. Does she want everything to be discovered so that Sawyer and Juliet get split up? Kate, you're a silly, silly woman. Could be something in that. She's obviously jealous of Sawyer and Juliet, so it, it, you know maybe she's hoping that that will... will... There was that weird sexual tension when Sawyer walked in the room and Jack was there with... Um, with uh, Juliet, he did that thing. Do you be Juliet? But... I, I, you be Juliet. So, so this is this is Jack. There, there's my there's my cup. <laughs> there's that there's the sexual tension which you probably felt there, Tom, which which wasn't needed, I don't was think it? From Juliet's side, though. I think. I oh, think, no, no, from no. both of their sides. No, no, no. no. I think Jack. It's like when you walk into a room territory. Yeah. with your girlfriend and your best friend, and you know they've been kissing. Uh, okay, uh, an exciting episode. Good to see a bit of mild stuff. Well, could you sum it up for us? And let's give you let's give you one word today, Paul Terry. Ghostly. <laughs> you can do better than that, Tom. You can have as many words as you like, mate. <laughs> uh, uh, his face is putting me off. Yeah, there. puts me off as well. Get rid of it for the next one. Our midweek edition, dear viewer, is released this Wednesday at sky.com forward slash lost. We're going to talk more about The Hatch and who Bram is working for. And we've got another Biggest Lost Fan video, plus more of your emails, your theories, uh, your questions. Join us on Wednesday. Until then, have a nice day. Why don't you go up to him and go, hey, look, it's me from the future. Woohoo!